Hi, this is Yukiko, and today I'd like to talk about changing ourselves. Are you struggling to change yourself? Or are you struggling to change something in your life, like your health, trying to break up, like your relationship, or trying to break up with someone, or to get a new job, new career, get more training, make more money? Are you just trying to change things that are external to you? How about trying to change yourself? Today, I'm going to use 12 quotes by very, very well-known people historically and give you 12 exercises, one for each stage. 12 stages of change. Change is not just one-time event. Change happens as a progressive realization and it is a process. So the quotes you receive are from Jahalal Nehru, George Bernard Shaw, Reinhold Nebra, Maxwell Maltz, Kerry Russell, John Maxwell, Simone de Beauvoir, Oprah Winfrey, Margaret Mead, James Poshaska, John F. Kennedy, and Mahatma Gandhi. So that is really all star lineup. And it's very important for us to understand change as stages and then as a process. You know, when you're just trying to change one thing that is external, it's not going to work out. You may say, okay, I'm going to set a goal, and I'm going to just work it out, daily plans, but usually it fails. Well, have you been to a workshop or well, fantastic training, and then you understood, you realized, and you had a major breakthrough, you came home and started to apply and change something, and three months later, you haven't really changed much. That happens a lot, right? So we're going to take a look at these 12 stages and then exercise in each stage. And what I use is exercises adopted from the 12 steps of Alcoholics Synonymous. And I have found over the years, these steps are very powerful and applicable to any situation so you get to adapt based on what I provide you these 12 steps to your situation and I'm going to just tell you what these 12 steps are so that you don't have any preconceived notion that it only applies to people who are addicted or people have alcoholic issues now, there's nothing wrong and no reason to be ashamed, but some of the things that are available in this life are way beyond what we think they are. And if when you do apply principles wisely, you will achieve changes beyond where you can imagine. So I will provide the quotes for you. In my blog, click the link below and go to my blog, abundanceishere.com, and I'd like to tell you about the 12 steps right now, here and then. The study of these steps are essential to progress in the 12-step program. The principles they embody are applicable and universal to everyone, whatever his personal creed. In the 12-step program, we strive for an ever deeper understanding of these steps and pray for the wisdom to apply them to our lives. And you can change and adapt these steps applicable to your situation. But I'm going to say the original version. Step one, we admitted we were powerless over alcohol, that our lives had become unmanageable. Step two, came to believe that a power greater than ourselves 
could restore us to sanity. Step 3. Made a decision to turn our will and our lives over to the care of God as we understood God. Step 4. Made a searching and fearless moral inventory of ourselves. Step 5. Admitted to God, to ourselves, and another human being the exact nature of our wrongs. Step 6. We're entirely ready to have God remove all these defects of character. Step 7. Humbly asked God to remove our shortcomings. Step 8. Made a list of all persons we had harmed and became willing to make amends to them all. Step 9. Made a direct amend to such people wherever possible except and to do so would injure them or others. Step 10. Continue to take personal inventory, and when we were wrong, promptly admitted it. Step 11. Sought through prayer and meditation to improve our conscious contact with God as we understood God, praying only for knowledge of God's will for us and the power to carry that out. Step 12. Having had the spiritual awakening as the result of these steps, we try to carry this message to others and practice these principles in all our affairs. And remember, we are using our own words, our own story apply to these 12 steps and in using these famous quotes from our spiritual fathers and mothers, grandparents in a history to help us to change ourselves and change our life. I will see you in my blog post. Click the link below, abundances.com. See you on the inside. Yukiko signing off.